All right, y'all, welcome back to Coming Arms Channel. Okay, so today we're checking out a unit out of Hong Kong. Now, this is a sort of special tactics, more specifically a counter-terror unit in Hong Kong. Now, we have checked out this unit previously, maybe like a year or so ago, but this is their special duties unit, which is also known as the Flying Tigers. I think previously we checked out, uh, it was like a, some sort of demonstration that they were doing, which is pretty cool. But this one is much more cinematic and just generally higher quality and I think also a little bit more modern as well. But this is one of their operators, I guess, doing like one of their obstacle courses. And you guys already know I'm a huge fan of obstacle courses. So seeing different courses from around the globe is pretty interesting. But these guys doing it and also in full kit, I'll add, looks like a doozy. So it should be pretty cool. Now you guys can see I'm also rocking a hat. So if you guys check out the, the merch on Redbubble, we have hats available for all the merch designs now, which I know you guys are really asking about hats and I was waiting to find a good way to implement it and Redbubble just started adding hats. And I gotta say the quality, you can kind of see it's getting like chroma keyed out, but the quality is like really freaking impressive from what I've seen so far with this one. But yeah, if you guys want to check out the hats or check out the merch, you can check out the link in the video description. But this video is going to be good, I will say that, so let's get right into it. Okay, so of course we're going to check out the gear, and I gotta say, it looks pretty freaking cool. Their facilities look really freaking nice already. Now, he's doing this in full kit with a gas mask on, and it's like pouring rain. And you know, I don't know about Hong Kong, but I know China, the air quality is not that great. So with that, I'm sure they're kind of used to that portion, but with that and the gas mask and the rain making everything super heavy and wet and just kind of like chafy, yeah, you can imagine this is going to be a doozy, but he's got a freaking MP5 slung on his back with like a Glock and a, maybe a Safari Land holster. It looks really freaking cool already, basically. All right, good. Dang, that's like a pretty tall, like a 50 foot, 60 foot wall. Good fast rope technique too. I like how he's immediately looks like he's just like in the city, but I'm guessing this is still part of their compound. I was like, there's no way he's gonna go to the top of that, and he definitely did. Nice. Dang, this is all pretty tall, but also looks like it's pretty quality course. Damn, and with that being wet, and I know he took, he still got some gloves on, I think. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it looks like there's just cars. I'm guessing this is like part of their police compound, but. Nice, dude, okay. The cameraman's getting it too. It looks like he's like feeling it already. You can imagine doing anything, just wearing that for like a certain distance is gonna be a doozy. Hell yeah. Again, good technique. That's kind of cool how there's like multiple things you can do with this course. Okay, yeah, man, this has got to be brutal. I'm just like imagining everything just like being super chafy and things just banging into you like your, your MP5 and whatnot. If you have a good sling, it's not as bad. Okay. Damn, I would have popped my wrist out right there. <laughs> Okay, nice range facility too. Yeah, you can imagine these guys get some nice facilities though. Alright, let's see how the shooting is though.
Talk about a stress shoot, though. And this is all in one take, too. It's like, don't mess it up. <laughs> okay, a little brass check there. Yeah, the kid is freaking sweet. Okay. Alright. Yeah, pretty close distance, but... He's at least shooting from a barricade, which is pretty cool. Cameraman, though, he's got to do some camera maintenance right now. This is fun. I haven't shot on range that nice yet. Oh my gosh, the drag. Oh, okay. Dang. A fireman carry from the ground, too. That sucks. More realistic, though, I guess. It looks like they were all kind of doing that. I wonder if... I thought it was just like one person doing it, but it looks like they're all kind of doing it as well. Huh. Okay, not bad. Again, the obstacle course was pretty cool. I was expecting it to be a little bit longer, but again, I'm sure most of the time they're not doing that obstacle course with full kit on. But being able to do that is pretty freaking sweet. I've done a couple of, in the Marine Corps, we have like endurance courses. We have obstacle courses, we have confidence courses, and we have the endurance course. Now the obstacle course is more for like PT, the confidence course is more for like team building, and then the endurance course kind of like brings everything together, and that's what I did wearing like full kit. And again, like you really get a good appreciation for your kit doing things like that because yeah, again, there was like a, a squad competition, a division squad competition I was doing, and I was a squad leader, so I was making sure all my dudes were getting over this wall during the endurance course. And one dude, he had his M27, like our automatic rifle, basically. And he went over the wall, and unfortunately, his sling wasn't that tight. So when he went over, it sort of swung around to the front. And right where that muzzle was about to hit the wall, my finger was there. And just immediately, there goes my nail. And I was right in the beginning of the squad competition. So I can definitely appreciate your gear working with you and not moving around too much. So it's kind of cool being able to do this. You get a good appreciation for your kit. And at the same time, you would know like, okay, this was moving around too much or maybe, hey, my pistol fell off or maybe my magazines were falling out of my, my magazine pouch. And that has happened. There was times where I was playing like airsoft and my knee pads in my in my pants would pop out. Or even when I was in the field or something, my knee pad would pop out and that was kind of a, an, an issue. So it's cool doing things like this where we can kind of test your kit. Because you get all these different sort of positions and movements and sort of actions in one short time period. So if your gear can survive that, then you'll be good. And of course, if you can survive that, you'll be good as well. So yeah, you definitely get pretty comfortable with the, with the kit at this point. Yeah, pretty cool video. I want to see more videos like this where we have people with their full kit on doing obstacle courses because... Again, I have a feeling some of them aren't going to look as like sexy or cinematic as this one, but I gotta say, yeah, the, the rain was definitely a vibe. It was probably pretty crappy for him, but this is definitely something that I would love to do personally. And I'm also kind of thinking from the content perspective, like the rain and the full kit and doing this physical stuff would be pretty freaking cool. So yeah, if I, could, I kind of want to find like an obstacle course that I can do with my kit on as well, because I haven't really done anything like that with my personal set up in a long time. So I think that'd be pretty cool. But let me know what you guys think about this. If you have any other videos that are similar to this, then recommend it down below. Cause again, I'd love to check it out, especially with the mixing the tactical stuff and the physical fitness stuff. Like it's cool, you can respect it. And again, it is done for a reason, especially with something like an obstacle course, but definitely very cool. Let me know what you guys think about it. Hopefully we can see some more cool videos like this. Cause yeah, I gotta say these flying tiger guys, look pretty freaking legit. I want to see if there's any more cool videos about them as well. But if you guys have any other units to recommend, then definitely throw that down below or throw it down in the Discord. But thank you guys for watching. That is it for this video. I'll see you on the next one.